gorgeous people we are on our way to the beach with puppy dog Sydney Sydney there you go say hello right I'm gonna get I woke up with a bit of a headache today oh sorry whoa I have to watch that. I've got a new stand for my mobile so that I can talk to you in the car. There's the puppy there. And then um, this is my first time trying it out, so it seemed a bit loose then, didn't it? <clears throat> anyway, um, woke up with a headache this morning. Apart from that, I feel fine. My moods are going a bit up and down, but not dramatically down but quite hyper up <laughs> for some strange reason whether it's because oh the sun whether it's because um, I'm feeling better so I'm in a better mood you know I'm not in as much pain in fact to be fair there's only my knee that every now and again will twinge so and I think you can live with that can't you I'm 44 I can, I can have a few twinges with the rest of them Anyway, so I um, woke up with a headache this morning, so I thought, well, instead of going on that blustery field, which we always do, I'll take him to the beach because it's only like a couple of minutes down the road. Well, where we're going, we're going the roundabout way, so because there's nowhere to park near the town. So come on, people, let me out. I'm only a little one. Come on. Thank you. So, um, yeah, so we're going to blow the cobwebs away and then I'll give you, oh, am I still moving? Anyway, I shouldn't be doing that really, should I? Hands on the wheel, Lisa, hands on the wheel. So, yes, oh, there's a big tribe of old people. I mean, like, a seriously. I don't know whether I can turn this around to show you, but you might be able to see it. If I do that, we're just going past them. Look like this. Do, 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 do. Loads of them. Some sort of day out. Anyway. <clears throat> so, what was I saying? So, I'm going to the beach, blow the cobwebs, try and get rid of this headache. I've dosed myself up with ibuprofen and paracetamol, so it should go. Um... It was Mother's Day on Sunday and I ordered I ordered my mum and my husband's stepmom flowers to be delivered. Now my husband's stepmom um, got hers on the Saturday which was when I asked for them to be delivered and because oh for goodness sake because I'll have to Maybe I've, this is something I need to tighten with that, but I'll have a look. Um, that came on the Saturday. We got a text to say, lovely, thank you very much. They're beautiful, blah, blah, blah. So I thought, well, hmm, it's funny that my mum's not c contacted me to tell me that, oh, Jesus, H, um, to c contact me. Blah, 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 blah. Hasn't contacted me to tell me that she's got hers. So, uh, but I left it because, you know, it's supposed to be a surprise. So I didn't want to ring up and say, "Have you got your flowers?" So <clears throat> I left it for a bit. And on on Mother's Day on Sunday, I rang my mum to say, "Happy Mother's Day," and and she never received them. And I was fuming. So, excuse me, just burped into my scarf because I'm a classy chick. Um, so, didn't receive them. So, I rang the company. Um, I had to wait till 10 o'clock and then I rang the company and they said that because I hadn't have gone courier service, which was next day delivery. Now, I ordered these on Thursday. I didn't want them to be delivered on Friday. So, I didn't go with the courier service. I went with the one that was... Um, you know, you can put in when you want it to deliver. So I wanted it to deliver on the Saturday. Anyway, 
long story short they said it's a three day turnaround and so they will definitely definitely get there by Monday but it's a, a 12 hour window so 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. during that Monday is when they're going to arrive so my poor mother stayed in all day I think she took the dog for a walk once stayed in all day to get these bloody flowers come on people I'm at a roundabout now so it's just sods oh take your time for goodness sakes are you done god Benny get into second gear will you love so um where was I up to now Blah, blah, blah. Oh, right, so definitely be there on Monday. Mum stayed in all day. Five past seven, she rings me last night. They haven't arrived. So I was like, oh, God damn it. Excuse me if I'm blaspheming a lot today. I don't know why. But, um, so I rang them then again this morning. And they were like, all apologetic. And what's funny was... One of the one of the deliveries arrived on time on the day that I asked it to go, you know, to get there, and then one of them still hasn't arrived. So that's really peed me off. So um, anyway, I rang them this morning, and I was ever so polite, and I said, "This isn't an angry." <laughs> Owen I spoke to Owen on the phone, and I said, "This is not an angry." phone call this is a disappointed phone call <laughs> and he went oh I can only apologize I'm really blah 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 I'm really sorry blah 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 anyway he was a lovely lad he was probably about 20 could have been my son and so uh, could he have been my son yes he could have been my son um, oh see come on so what was I saying then? So I have ended up just getting my money back. Now I have to think about my mum my mum what don't doesn't don't get me anything, you're alright, blah blah blah. That's what she's like. She's she doesn't She doesn't want you to waste your what she calls waste your money or you know, Christmas birthday. She doesn't want you to go to town on her. She's she's one of them because she never had any money as we were growing up you know so she's still in the mindset of I haven't got any money so don't spend any <laughs> I think she's getting better well my dad will probably say she's getting better but anyway so now I've got to think about something because I'm already two days late for Mother's Day oh <gasps> it all organized all sorted and I'm really really annoyed but I didn't tell Owen that because he was being lovely with me he was probably giving me two fingers really down the phone line but anyway he sounded like he was being lovely so to wait I was on hold for 10 minutes this morning on the phone to these people which I won't name because you know a business is a business I'm not gonna be naming and shaming anybody so and it is what it is it's a postal service what can you do right now I have to find a, a parking space Sydney are you awake There you are, hello boy. Right, I'm gonna park in here. Sorry. Sorry, Mrs. Behind me. But you've gotta get jump in when you get the chance up the curb because hey, I've passed my test. I don't need to worry about not going up a curb anymore. I need to reverse out reverse a bit and I don't want anybody crashing into my wing. Get out of the way, thank you. Did you not know a good evening? Seriously. Right. Oh, I'm as close to the curb without actually being on it as you can possibly get. Need a bit of room at the back to get this out. 
Right, I will see you on the beach. I hope it's not too windy. Otherwise, you can't hear a thing I'm saying. There's only a couple of dogs here. Right, okay, bye. See you in a minute. Okay, we're on the beach. Come on then. It's salt water, you don't want to be drinking that, love. So let me show you where we are. I don't know whether you can hear me because it is a bit windy. Over there is Saltburn. And all the way around, let's zoom out so you can't see them people. I'm sure they don't want to be on YouTube. And there's some puppy dogs to play with. And it's lovely. It's a bit fresh, but it's lovely. Come on then. I don't have to get that covered in. Should we go to the water? Should we go to the water? He hates the sea. He's not a proper springer, I'm sure. Have you seen a friend? Have you found a friend? On then. This I couldn't have done. Oh god, I'm so shaky, sorry. This I couldn't have done a few weeks ago. It's just Possible. See, I've just walked, so let me go around. I've just walked all that distance there, and it's not hurting, <laughs> which is amazing. Where's your ball gone now? Spot your ball. There it is. <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> I can't see what I'm filming. I'm trying not to film that lady's face. Come on, you! On this! Jenny! Go! Let's see what he does with that. <laughs> Get your ball! Come on, I'm not going in. Lovely. Good boy. This way. Good boy. Oh, we can't get over there, Sid. The season. <laughs> Are you having fun? Are you? We'll have to do some climbing to get into that next bit. Oh. Right, I'm going to turn you off because it's windy on my face, so it must be windy for you. I, and I can't see what I'm actually filming, so see you in a bit. So, <clears throat> it's so um, cold wind. Sydney's wet through, all over my car seats. Now we're going home. I'm knackered now. He met a friend called Megan, I think, but she didn't want to share her toys, so she wasn't really a friend, if you know what I mean. I'm very hot in this scarf now. What are you doing? Hey, Sydney! Okay, fine. Right, we're gonna go home. Get out of here. It's a bit warm. Whatever that's gonna
going to make a difference. I'm going home a different way. Oh, I see. I feel all right. I'm just very tired. I don't know. I'm not in pain. It's just I still can't do. Are there any other 44 year olds out there? Because I don't actually know whether I'm just a 44 year old who just is tired all the time or whether it's all on medication. In fact, I think I've come the wrong way now. That's marvellous, isn't it? We'll just keep following this road. I have no idea where I am. Um, because I've been in pain for so long and now I'm not in pain, but I've still got the tiredness and I'll get a twinge here and there. That, that's normal, isn't it, for, for my age? But you see, I don't know what's... I don't know what's the arthritis or what's just me getting older and me my body's unfit. The weirdest crossing that was. <coughs> right, we're going under a bridge, so darkness. Oh, not so dark, but you know. Oh, so that's the dog done. I haven't done any cleaning, I haven't even put the washing up, I've done nothing. I know what he's having for his tea. Oh, I had um, the salmon and broccoli with potato wedges last night for my tea. Oh, it was lovely. Really, really nice. And there was plenty of it for me to, I didn't add any vegetable, any more vegetables to it. I might do, depending on what I'm having tonight, I might do more broccoli or something but the sauce was good I'm a sauce girl mate a bit saucy I like all but I just love love sauces now my husband had um, sausage egg chips and beans last night for his tea <coughs> and on it he put brown sauce or well, what do you call it, daddy's sauce or um, whatever, brown sauce, I don't know what, what it'd be in in the USA or anything, I don't even think they do it, I don't know, but anyway, it's not okay sauce, it's a spicy, anyway, whatever it is, brown sauce. Now, he only, you know, when you put any sauces on anything, you don't put a lot on, do you? Well, he put as however much he put on it. Maybe a tablespoon, maybe a bit more than a tablespoon, I don't know. I didn't even look at his plate. But that reacted with him. So he's devastated now because he's found out he can't have Marmite, which is another UK yeast product, a bit like Vegemite. But apparently it doesn't taste like Vegemite. I don't know, I've never tried Vegemite. But um, he can't have Marmite because that's got stuff in it. And he was having Marmite. He had Marmite on toast for his breakfast, like three days on the run. And we were cutting out all onion, garlic, celery, blah, blah, blah. But he was still feeling rough. So then we read the Marmite label. And Marmite is yeast extract. Now, I didn't realise that they, it's a byproduct of the brewing. Brew, my eyes are a bit iffy with my, my not so brewer brewing industry that's come along these roundabouts 50 million people decide to come around anyway so yeah i didn't i didn't think it had any other added ingredients in it other than whatever this byproduct thing is but apparently it does i think it's it said Celery. I think it just had celery in it. So we can't have marmite, we can't have brown sauce. We found gravy granules, I think I showed you that. I think I've I've put that in the shopping hall. He can't he can he can only have certainly got to read all the labels on the gravy granules and what have you. So we found one that hasn't got any 
onion, some of them have onion oil. Or, oh, I don't understand, I don't know what onion oil is. Oil flavoured with onion, maybe. Anyway, he's being a pain in the verbial with this no onion family malarkey. Oh God, it's trial and error because we don't actually know what he can and can't have. They're very noisy. So, um, he couldn't have any of the Weight Watchers meals that I'm at. Not that he want to anyway, but he couldn't have any of the Weight Watchers meals that. Oh, getting gear, love. Thank you. Um, because they've all got onion in them, or garlic. I feel really sorry for him because he can't have anything that's tasty. But all, all the stuff that he's, he that he loves to eat, he can't have. Like pork pie is not just pork in pastry. It's got stuff in it. Flavouring. And onion flavours everything. It's ridiculous. But what can you do? I'd like to know if there's more people out there that have got an onion allergy because maybe we can start something with Asda or Tesco's to start getting onion free stuff in there, free form range, free form range. Over at home. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Right. <clears throat> Are we there yet? Oh my god. Some people try and avoid these speed humps by driving in the middle of the road because they're only on either side, but they're not, not all the way across the road. So they, they... Anyway, stop whinging. So now, back on my housing estate. Oh, another bump. Doop, 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 doop. Good. So what I forgot to do today, I should be doing some cleaning. A guy came yesterday to give us another quote for the patio, you know in the back garden to get rid of all the grass and um, we're just waiting on a quote from him now. He's, he's newly started, he's a friend of a friend, <coughs> well he's a friend of a, of a relative. He's uh, trying to start up his own, like, business. And so, you know, we're do doing everything. The carpentry does wiring, does um, floor laying, you know, plastering, all sort of tiling, whatever. So he's basically, I'm glad we've, we've got him because neither one of us have got the energy to do anything. <laughs> so. You can just get him to come and do it. So we're waiting on a quote from him to see how much it cost because we got a quote from our gardeners and it was very expensive. <laughs> well, we didn't though. I, I, we didn't know. We didn't have anything to base it on. But talking to a couple of people, and it looks like we may have been overly overly charged all over the not charged but you know what I mean so we're gonna get a couple of quotes I think before we dive in with, with the gardeners right we are nearly home how's Mr Sydney okay you're still with us hello baby Are we nearly home? Right. Hi. 